square diesel. Um, well, last episode, if you didn't watch it, I went and bought 12 valve Cummins, found out it's actually a 91, because I ran the serial code on the side of the block. And yeah, I drove all the way to Terre Haute, Indiana, which is about three hours from where I live, uh, to pick up this engine. And right now, I've got it in my garage, and I'm just slowly working on it, tearing it apart, because I want to go through it and clean it and make it look really good before I put it in my blue truck. And, uh, well, right now, it's not going too bad. Got the turbo off, with exhaust manifold. I just unbolted, I don't know exactly what it was that was here, a little plate for something, which is right over here. Don't know exactly what it is, but yeah, got that off. And there's my turbo, it's cleaning up, sorta, getting some of the rust off. But uh, yeah, for those that don't know, it's going inside of this truck. 1985 F-250 with the 351 Windsor in it. And yeah, I'm hoping to have this motor in at least this year, possibly. So we'll see. This is my new uh, uh, training cooler lines because I might have snapped mine. So yeah, but currently the motor does not run. Now you're probably wondering why are you tearing the motor apart when it doesn't even run? You know, because I plan on painting it this color. This uh, red, this is engine enamel. I think it'll look pretty good, hopefully. But I am gonna power wash this block. Obviously, I'm gonna block off everything that is open inside the motor and make it look really nice before it gets put into this. Uh, now back to the not running part. I have been working on trying to make it run. There's some red diesel, there's a battery. Yes, it's only one. But it cranks over just fine. There's absolutely nothing wrong with inside internally. But I don't know if you guys can even see my mechanical fuel pump here. The line that goes to the fuel tank. Now, this has a mechanical fuel pump on it. So I sort of have an understanding of how they work. Basically, as the motor's turning over, it, there's a lifter that goes inside the block. And I think it goes up and down, basically causing... Uh, causing a flap inside of the fuel pump to sit there and go up and down, causing this to suck fuel in. I'm not getting any suction at all on this end of the hose. And this is my inlet, and here's my out. So I don't exactly know what's going on here. I'm thinking something inside is not working, causing, obviously, the mechanical fuel pump not to engage. So what I'm going to try and do, maybe take it apart, and see just exactly if something inside of it's going bad if it is screwed well then i'll just order a new one i think they're like i don't know i haven't looked far but i think they're like 80 bucks for a new one but if it make this engine run then it's well worth the 80 bucks because i don't really want to mess with an engine that is going to have big issues internally i mean it could be injectors or something but as far as I'm concerned, I'm pretty sure the mechanical fuel pump is not doing its job. So yeah, um, I'm gonna keep stripping apart this engine and I will get back to you guys whenever I've tore apart a little more, so. All right, YouTube, uh, so process on tearing down the motor. Uh, I wanted to pull the oil pan off a little bit so I could see what the inside or the bottom of the cylinders look like. And honestly, it's really not too bad. You probably can't, hold on. There we go. Really not too bad up in there. Everything's looking fine so far. Uh, trying to get you guys a good view inside. I can't pull the oil pan off all the way because yes, there is still oil in here. I didn't want to pull it off completely because, well, I'm still gonna try and start it and I don't really feel like buying brand new oil to start it. But yeah, everything so far is checking out. to look pretty good inside of it. So I think the inside of the motor is healthy. <clears throat> I'm gonna take a sample of the oil and send it off to send it off to a lab and get it tested and see exactly you know what's going on inside the motor block. Uh, so yeah. So I'm gonna put the oil pan back on, get it all tightened up, torque to spec, and I'll start tearing apart everything else. So stay tuned for that. All right, <clears throat> little update on how the tear teardown's going. Uh, well, pulled the old pan off and I checked it out. 
everything in there is looking perfect as I showed you guys. So I'm happy about that. Uh, I will be putting a new oil pan gasket on it. So for those that are concerned about me pulling the pan off and reusing the old gasket, I will be replacing the old one with a brand new one. But yeah, so far, this is just about all I've gotten done. Just slowly but surely. Uh, I don't know, it's kind of a process. I'm about ready to take the alternator off, AC compressor, uh, yeah, just so I can at least get to the front of the block and get it all painted and stuff, which um, I got a whole bunch of stuff. I got primer, I got the paint. I did not get clear coat. I mean, I don't really think I need it, but I might get it later down the road, so we'll see. But uh, yep, probably next time I check in with you guys, I should have the belt off and all that front stuff off, so stay tuned for that. Okay, so I got one side of the engine completely stripped down to where I want it so I can paint it, clean it. Here's all the parts off the side. This is the turbo side. And here's what it's looking like right now. Got all cleaned up right now. I'm just taking a screwdriver and a uh, little bitty uh, piece of towel or whatever to clean up in between here. Because I want it to look very nice whenever I do it. So that's what I've been working on for the past, I don't know, 20 minutes. But uh, yeah, this is just one side. Getting it cleaned up, using a little degreaser, trying to get all this rust off and stuff. But it's cleaning up pretty good. So looks like it's going to work out. But uh, yeah, I guess maybe this weekend I might get the other side off. Uh, I messed with the fuel pump a little bit and it it's starting to suck for some reason i have no idea why but uh so yeah maybe i might put it back together and see if it runs but uh we'll see because i don't know if i really want to do that yet i might just want to get it all painted up but it'd be nice to know that it runs before so we'll see but anyway uh if you enjoyed this video share it with your friends leave a comment give me some tips or something because I don't know much about diesels this is my first time ever doing an engine swap so it's a it's a journey and an experience but it's something that i enjoy doing so yeah i'll catch you guys in the next video thanks for watching and uh bye